Hello everyone. Hope everyone's doing nice tonight or having a nice night. This is Charlotte and I'm here with Baby Sage. We've tried to call her several different things and we've decided Sage works the best. It's the Knox kit and it's time for her to change. She's had on this lovely little one-piece romper by Janie and Jack that has all of this embroidery and it's a pretty collar. We got it from Auntie Carrie. We did a blind box swap. It's just so cute on her little flowers and then it's long. And she had on her little pretty booties that we all share. And uh, she's had it on oh, probably over a week. And I have just decided it's time to change. We can always put it back on at another time, but we're going to change into these little pants with the little daisy on the toe, and they're just real soft little, little Gerber pants, and a little top that goes with it you've seen before, but I like it. It's so soft, and it's crisscross, and it's the little chick with the little daisies. And she looks so pretty in pink that we just decided, well, we better just put something pink back on this baby. And I've got a little bonnet that it's not real warm, but it's just nice enough to keep the air from blowing in her little ears. So she doesn't get an ear infection. Let me turn her over on her side. This one's a little bit hard to get unsnapped. Button. Let me see. Yeah, it snapped. Now, sweet darling, come back over this way, for Mama. Mhm. Mm so it's late night here, almost midnight, and I've had a little bit of insomnia. So my hubby's still up, and um, he's watching some TV show that he likes. Linda's in bed, and the puppies are all sleeping, so it's just me and the babies, and I was holding sweet little baby Sage, and I just said, I think I'll do a changing video. I love those little booties. So that's what we're doing. Baby Sage and Mommy. Just the two of us. We had a good day. We'd got our new furniture, the furniture that we'd gotten before, we'd only had a few months, like nine months, I think, or so, maybe not even that long, but what happened is, when you sit on it, it's very comfortable, but it smushes, and, and um, after a short time, it just, it just looked horrible, it looked like it'd been set on for ten years, I mean, the furniture that we had before looked better than this really as far as the way it it sat and wore and everything now as far as how it looked I love the pattern I love the roses uh, the shabby chic roses and the, the cream background with the little light green and white checked uh, pillows so the girl at the company we bought from she said now, I just changed his diaper up before he came on camera, so that's fine. She said, just, just pick out something that you want, and we will make it right. We'll exchange with you, since that one didn't wear well. And I said, okay, what are we going to do for furniture in between times? She said, just keep that and use it until we get it made. Well, we did. That was just, they were just absolutely, Haverty's is where I got it. They were just absolutely wonderful. And, um. So, we got the, got it today, the, the sofa and love seat. They're just a real light oatmeal color, real light oatmeal. And they're scotch guarded, but I want to get some more, or whatever they use for their um, protectant, but I want to get some more and put on there. So, we'll probably do that because of the light color. And then the, um, the pillows are the same fabric as the other cats, the roses, 
got about six of those rose ones and two or three of the little green and white check and then some interesting looks like old mattress ticking except it's um red and white so we've got a uh, we've really got a couple extra pillows but that's okay they're really real nice heavy pillows they're down and some other things but the couches in the love seat sit really really oh she she tries to lean forward um they sit really really well they sit real well they're real firm and okay darling lean forward on mama's hand here mm-hmm lean forward let mama get this one and then we'll get that one so they brought the furniture out and you know what that calls for deep cleaning behind everything and and then you see something else you want to do and uh, before you know it you've got that whole room deep clean and it feels so good and looks so good and um i guess i'll sit in here for a while instead of going to the nursery my husband just wants me to be in here for a while i think since i was <laughs> the last time i was sick it was over a year ago I don't know why he's like that, but he likes it when I'm in here with him or close by, so that's okay. He goes in his man cave to do things, and then when he comes in, he he's right next door to me here. And um, I'm glad he does, but I wanted to go back in the nursery, and I probably will in the summertime. I think that room's cooler back there anyway. And, uh, well, goodness, I'm having a hard time getting your little hand through here. Um... <laughs> well, goodness gracious, thanks a lot. Uh, so, this chair that I'm sitting in has an ottoman in it. It's a very, very comfortable chair. But I want to get um, two chair arm covers. And I was looking. I wanted something that was shabby chic, you know, something that was vintage. There's something that I could wash, even if it was like a tea towel two tea towels that were embroidered. I just wanted something that was embroidered that looked a little bit shabby chic. And I found all sorts of things on um, eBay, but they were all blue or yellow. I haven't found anything with red or pink. Excuse me, so, but I feel like I need to get something because even though we wash our hands, you know, we have lotion and things on them and it's gonna get on the arm of that chair if I don't, if I don't get something over it, it'll start showing so I'm looking for those. I found several that are like it's it's part of the chair you sit on it and it covers the chair, the back of the chair, the seat, and then comes up and covers the um, the arms. But one is I just wanted something that looked a little bit more modern, more shabby chic than that. Now let's do your hair, sweet baby. So that's what I'm doing. We've done a little bit of rearranging of different things around here. Just got a little blue or a little pink bottle of spray. I've seen several of you use this same one. <laughs> oh, it's funny how we all get the same habit. Well, we learn something and we we come on here and tell each other and then we all try to get it. Now, since I don't shop much, sometimes I'm behind. Um, like all those pretty boxes that come to Dollar General. My husband has gone over here to this Dollar General I cannot tell you how many times, and they never have those boxes. They say they don't carry them, and I don't know if they don't or they just don't want to mess with my husband because they seem like they're kind of always shorthanded, but um, I guess different Dollar Generals get different things, um, but I love those storage boxes that it have anything to do with Paris or flowers. Uh, I love to store pacifiers and bows in them. I just love to store different things in them. That's pretty hair. And it is so wonderful because, see, I can't do a whole lot of walking. I run a, I'm a, I get short of breath. Um, I'm trying, I'm gonna get really try to help that by walking more this, this spring and summer. But um, sitting here, I just feel wonderful. But if I start walking, I'll get kind of short of breath. And that was caused from me medication damage that I took chemo when I first got lupus but anyway um, I have to have things around me so during the day when my, my husband's busy and Linda's gone if I want to change a baby or something 
I can. So that means that I have to plan ahead of time and make sure I have everything I need. Um, and I do to do a pretty good job at that. Here's your bracelet, baby. You could hold this in your hand. Yeah. Sure can. You can hold it, baby. Mm -hmm. She always has a tendency to go forward. Um, her her head is, is weighted in the front. I know a lot of artists are doing that now. I have two babies from two different artists that weight the head in the front. And I like it. I really do like it, except that you do have to be careful because sometimes when they're laying down, they'll pop forward like that. So you have to be a little bit careful when you're holding them. I was looking for her little toy. See, I, I got a new, um, one of those three drawer things over here that, um, uh, that we all use. And I'm just going to put the things that I really, really need to use for that week in here. And then... I'll be able to keep up with everything, and I think it'll be a lot easier. So I've I found it. It was a wrist bracelet that Auntie Susan B had sent her, and I just absolutely love them for the babies. And this is the, the butterfly one, and she loves it. Makes all these sounds, and you, just a lot of fun. The babies, I see them looking at it, so we'll put one on pretty little sage and show you what it looks like here it is I think that's such a sweet little gift came too in a package now they're so cute and there's her pretty hair but we're gonna put a little real lightweight this came from Auntie Osh, I do believe and um, we're gonna put that on her because that will just knock off the air not that it's extremely cold, but you know how air flowing when that heater comes on and goes off. And I don't want her to get a little ear infection. So, what I'm going to do is tie this lightweight little bonnet right around her. And look how cute she looks. Doesn't that look, darling? Mm-hmm. Let's get her where she can you see better. Now. Now, sweet baby. Got your pretty little bonnet on. You got your toy here. And here's your rattle. Looking precious. Absolutely precious. The little daisies on your feet. Just looking absolutely darling. And if you have a Knox kit, leave a message down below. I'd like to see um, yours. We bought this from a lady that lives in um, Australia, I think it is. No, is it Australia or New Zealand? I don't know. It's somewhere in the UK. I've forgotten now. I'm brain dead tonight, but she is just precious, and we, at first I couldn't bond with her, didn't like, to, like the way she looked, because it reminded me of someone that I didn't really want to think about, but you know what, I put her away for about two weeks, just put her in the crib, and then when I went to pick her up, I was all in love with her all over again, and I feel very, very strongly about her now, she'll be one another one that never leaves my nursery <laughs> I just love her to death okay well thank you for watching and stopping by and taking time to spend with us we do appreciate you please come back and we appreciate you coming over and taking a look at our reborn babies that we role play with and um, come back and see us again God bless from West Texas where we had a little snow tonight bye bye <laughs>